Hi friends, welcome back. Let us start with ratio analysis and this is going to be the first session in ratio analysis. Okay. Again, at the risk of your repetition, this is ICI new scheme study materials. The difference in identification is if you are looking at a uh, green color material, like radium green kind of material, parrot green we call, that is old scheme material and this kind of blue scheme they used for new syllabus. Okay. New scheme from 2024 onwards. So look here, open page number two. They have given overview of the chapter. So what we are going to learn here and all they have given. Before that, they, they have given one learning objectives also. Normally, you know, we do not spend more time on these kind of things. But just let us quickly run through. Discuss source sources of financial data for analysis. Now you tell me what is the sources of financial data? items of financial statements. So we take items from financial statements and then we do analysis and we apply ratios. Discuss financial ratios and its types. So there can be financial ratios, there can be non-financial ratios. So we are dealing with only financial ratios here. Okay. Then discuss the use of financial ratios to analyze financial statement. Now, if you look at the heading, the chapter heading is not ratio analysis. What is the chapter heading? It is financial analysis and planning in that ratio analysis is a technique. Okay. Normally in financial analysis, we include three things. Normally, there can be exceptions, there can be additions, deletions. But if someone says financial analysis and planning, FAP we call it, it consists of three things. One is ratio analysis, one is cash flow analysis, and one is funds flow analysis. Funds flow analysis is outdated now, deleted from CA intermediate syllabus. But if you are doing CMA or some global courses, still funds flow management is also there. Okay. As far as Indian courses are concerned or chartered accountancy courses concerned, we deal with cash flow and this ratio analysis. Cash flow analysis will do, ratio analysis will do. But if you are doing Indian CMA, you have funds flow also. Okay. Now, in the third point, they are telling you, discuss use of ratios to analyze financial statements. So this is connecting your title. Ratio analysis. How do you use ratio analysis for financial plan? Then analyze the ratios from the perspective of investors, from the perspective of lenders, perspective of suppliers, perspective of managers, etc. etc. Underline. So ratio analysis is used by investors, shareholders, prospective shareholders. Ratio analysis is also used by lenders. Lenders can be long-term lenders means, you know, banks are giving you loans, financial institutions are giving you loans, they apply ratio analysis on your financial statements. Sometimes creditors, suppliers. Okay, normally, if you're buying goods for cash, I don't need your data. I don't need your biography. But if I'm selling goods on credit to you, don't you think I look at, you know, what is the ability, liquidity? Will you be able to honor the payment? I asked you, hey, take goods today and pay me after five weeks. Will you be able to pay me after five weeks or no? I should know. Then managers, for performance appraisals, internal appraisals and all these things, managers also use financial statements and financial analysis and ratio analysis. Okay. To evaluate profitability and financial position of an entity. Okay. Describe the users and objective of financial analysis, a bird's eye view. So who are all the users? These are the users, investors, lenders, suppliers. These are the users. Discuss viewpoint analysis. Put a char mark, char, star mark on this. Viewpoint analysis is not a new one. It is there in 1950s, 1960s also. Comparatively in India, this is still not an area which is explored more. So viewpoint analysis is a way of analyzing return on equity. If you do not know what is this, write this word ROE. What is ROE? Return on equity. So, return on equity, normally we calculate using a formula. Okay. And the formula is profits after tax divided by equity into 100. Net worth into 100. This is what we do. That is broken down for further analysis into three components. That is called viewpoint analysis. Okay. Regularly asked question in the exams also. Also, we'll see at the end. Then limitations of ratio analysis, which is pure theory. Normally, we ask students to read this kind of theory. So, these are learning objectives. So, are we clear so far? So, Going forward in ratio analysis, what we are going to learn, this, all these things, all these bullet points, whatever we have discussed will be covered in the coming sessions. Okay. 